Hi guys, welcome to LimeSup. Um, today I'm quickly going to talk about blade shape and blade design and how to pick the correct blade for what you're doing. So first off, we'll start with what I would call more the classic blade shape. So you'll see a lot of blades or paddle blades with sup of this classic teardrop shape. So from the shoulder to a very wide section there and the blades are quite compact when it comes to length. Okay. What this gives you is a lot of power as this enters the water very quickly. So for something like surfing, this is a good blade shape. As you put the paddle in, you've got full power very quickly. And for surfing, you often tend to do like two, three, four strokes very quickly to either catch a wave or to maneuver on a wave. Um, and then having those that quick instant power available is quite good. Um, so the sort of classic teardrop shape for surfing, that's all good. Then we get to different shape. Looking at this blade, you'll see a bit of a different shape. So it's longer in this direction. It's narrower for the same um, area. And this sort of blade is nice for touring, uh, longer distance paddling. And I also like this blade shape for whitewater. A narrower and longer blade. What this means is it's a bit more forgiving. As you put this blade in, you slowly or s slower than the other shape in any case um, start applying power or get to apply power as as you as this blade enters the water so it's a little bit more forgiving on the shoulders long distance paddling it's nice and what tends to happen is if you're paddling a blade like this you are getting full power and it's slower more powerful strokes when you're paddling with this one once you go to a blade shape that's narrower and longer, you tend to be able to have quicker strokes in the water, less tiring. Um, it's like having um, on a mountain bike or something, just gearing down and spinning up a hill or something. It's closer to, to that sort of thing. It's not brute force, uh, it's more controlled power. So for long distance paddling, it's, um, it's a nice, nice sort of blade shape. I also prefer it for white water. Um, for much the same reasons, it's easier, easier on the shoulders. If you're paddling the whole day, it's quite a nice, nice shape to have. Then the next thing that we look at when we're talking blade shape or blade design is the back angle. So, looking at that blade, if you look at this, this is where the shaft would enter, and this is if the shaft continued on, this is where the shaft would have been, and this angle between flat and where the blade actually is, you'll see the blade sloping up. That's what we call the back angle. So, back angle will help the blade actually stay in one place. As you load it, as you put power on the blade, it will make sure that it doesn't twist or flutter to get rid of water both sides. Because you're putting a lot of pressure um, on this front face, There's the water is on this side, and you're actually pushing against, against that to get forward momentum. So all this pressure on this whole blade face, um, basically that water wants to escape uh, to both sides. This back angle will mean I could put a lot of pressure on the shaft and the blade would stay in one spot, which is exactly what you want for a blade. As soon as it twists or it flutters, it's getting rid of water, it's getting rid of that pressure and you're losing power when paddling. Okay. Now there's another way without having that much back angle um, to also stop flutter and that's what we call dihedral. Uh, dihedral. So with dihedral if you look at this blade you'll see right here especially in this part below where the shaft uh, meets the blade there's an angle sloping both ways so what happens is it's actually moving a bit of water to the sides to make sure that the blade doesn't move in the water so on this blade, if I apply power to it, there's a little bit of water moving both sides of the top part of the, the blade, and that'll make sure that the blade doesn't twist or flutter. So that's the two ways of getting the blade to actually stay perfectly nicely in one spot. Okay, if you do get a blade that flutters when you're actually applying pressure to it, that's most probably a bad design. Um, well, either bad design or you're stronger than what that blade was designed um, as a paddler to handle. So, 
Yeah, that's the that's the two things. So my personal preference is to paddle a blade like this, where there's a lot less back angle. This is probably seven, eight degrees, there about seven or eight. Um, so it's less back angle, which means um, the designer needed some dihedral to make it um, nice and stable so that it doesn't lose power. Um, I'm happy with that dihedral. It feels a lot like a whitewater kayak blade, which is what I'm used to. I used to paddle a lot of whitewater kayaking before. Um, yeah, it just feels very similar. And then also for whitewater, bracing on this blade and using the back of this blade it for me is easier without having that big back angle on it. Okay, so it's just my two cents on blade shape and blade design. Um, one more thing is my personal opinion is that a lot of people are actually oversizing their blades. Um, you, the recommendation for my size and power would have been probably a bigger blade than this but I'm enjoying this a lot. It's easier on the shoulders, long days of paddling is easy with a little bit of short, um, smaller blade than would normally have been recommended for me. That's just personal preference. Um, especially in white water, this blade is nice. Um, a long blade that's narrower, a little bit smaller um, area, surface area on it and then that smaller back angle. All of this comes together and what it does for me is it gives me a higher cadence so I can do more strokes per minute um, and that suits my paddling style. If you're really big and strong you might want to go for something that's a bit wider or a bit more surface area so that your cadence drops a little bit but you use more of your power. As I said, personal preference but this is currently what I'm, I'm enjoying.